I now want to relate curl to conservative vector fields. So recall that in the two-dimensional case, if you have a vector field F with components P and Q, and if this is conservative, then partial Q partial X equals partial P partial Y. And the converse is true if your vector field is defined on a simply connected region. Then if this equation of partial derivatives holds, then the vector field is conservative. Now there's a three-dimensional analog of this, which is the following theorem. So if I have a three-dimensional vector field F equals PQR, and if this is conservative, And to be really precise, I should add that I'm also assuming that the partial derivatives of P, Q, and R are defined and continuous. Then the curl of F equals zero, or del cross F equals zero. And why is that? So here's the proof. So suppose F is conservative. Well, that means that the vector field F is the gradient of some function. Let's call it lowercase f. So then the curl of F del cross the vector field F is del cross the gradient of F, so gradient F. Now if you look at this, I've got the cross product of del with itself. And we know that the cross product of any vector with itself is equal to zero because the cross product is anti-commutative. Now that's maybe not quite um, valid in the present case because this del is not an ordinary vector. It's a vector of differential operators. In fact, the argument is correct in this case because of the fact that the differential operators in question commute with each other by Clairaut's theorem. But to see why that works, let's do this more precisely. Okay, so more precisely, this is d by dx comma d by dy comma d by dz cross the gradient of f, which is df dx comma df dy comma df dz. And now let's expand this cross product. So the first component, I have d by dy of df dz minus d by dz of df dy. So I get d squared f dy dz minus d squared f dz dy. The second component, I have d by dz of df dx minus d by dx of df dz. So I have d squared f dz dx minus d squared f dx dz. And for the third component, I have d by dx times df dy minus d by dy times df dx. So I have d squared f dx dy minus d squared f dy dx. So that's the whole thing. And now when we look at this, we see that for each component, we have a we have two second partial derivatives of f in which we've just taken the partial derivatives in opposite order with opposite sign. So we know that these are all zero by Clairaut's theorem. Likewise, this is zero by Clairaut's theorem, and this is zero by Clairaut's theorem. So the whole thing is just a zero vector. So that's why if f is conservative, 
then its curl is zero. So let's look at an example of this. So is the vector field f equals xz comma cosine y comma z conservative? Well, we could test by calculating its curl. So what's the curl of f? So del cross f is d by dx, d by dy, d by dz cross xz cosine y z. So the first term is I have d by dy times z minus d by dz times cosine y, which is zero. The second term, I have d by dz of xz, which is x, minus d by dx of z, which is zero, so I get x. The third term is d by dx of cosine y, which is zero, minus d by dy of xz, which is zero. Okay, so that's the curl, and the point is that this is not equal to zero. We know that if f were conservative, then its curl would have to be zero. So since the curl is not zero, it follows that f is not conservative. Right now there's another theorem which says that if the curl of f is zero and f is defined on a simply connected region, then f is conservative. So this is analogous to the two-dimensional case. So if f is conservative, then the um, curl has to be zero, no matter what the domain it's defined on. And if you want to go the other way, if you know that the curl of f is zero, well, maybe f is not conservative, but if f is defined on a simply connected region, then you know that it is conservative. Now I didn't tell you what simply connected means in three dimensions. So that's actually a little bit beyond the scope of this course. So in two dimensions, simply connected means it has no holes. In three dimensions, it's more subtle. So I'll just show you a couple of examples. So if you take all of our three, that's simply connected. That's probably all you need to know for this class. If you take R3 minus the origin, so the notation is this. So this is R3 with the origin removed. Then actually, this is also simply connected. So in two dimensions, if you remove a point, that counts as a whole. Um, well, there's also a hole in three dimensions, but this particular kind of hole does not mess up the simply connectedness. Um, on the other hand, if you take a, a donut shape like this, so if your region is a solid donut, so imagine this is a nice yummy chocolate donut, and R is the chocolate part, then this is not simply connected as it happens. Anyway, it's certainly true that if f is defined in all of R3, then if its curl is zero, then it's conservative. And we'll, we'll prove that later.